In Job chapter 11, verses 13 through 15, Job's friend Zophar tells him, Yet if you devote your heart to him and stretch out your hands to him, if you put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent, then, free of fault, you will lift up your face and you will stand firm and without fear. There's some good advice there for those of us who deal with stress. When we ignore the warning signs, chronic stress can take a toll on our bodies. So what are some of the signals? Well, for starters, your stomach churns at any form of disagreement. When you can't find an outlet for pent-up frustration, you may resort to overeating, smoking, drinking, drugs, and generally abusing your body. And you isolate yourself, which affects your loved ones. Author Deborah Cody in her book, Too Blessed to be Stressed, Inspiration for Climbing Out of Life's Stress Pool, writes about what she terms the three F's, outward fussing, inward fuming, and chronic fatigue. She jokes, I knew it was time to address my stress issues when my growl grew louder than the dog's and my family tactfully suggested that I get a rabies shot. However, it's the signs that we don't see that can often do the most damage. Cortisol, a hormone our bodies release when we're in the grasp of stress, adds to out of control feelings of powerlessness and hopelessness. And studies have verified that over time, stress raises our blood pressure, contributes to migraines and tension headaches, and results in the plaque that leads to heart disease. Chronic stress has been observed to increase cardiovascular risk by almost 50%, not to mention documented connections to alcoholism, anxiety attacks, asthma, cancer, colds, depression, flu, insomnia, obesity, strokes, and ulcers. Now on a side note, why do we say not to mention and then go ahead and mention it anyway? Hmm, I'll have to think about that one a little bit. And those uncontrolled crying spells that people experience when they are exhausted, they're no coincidence. Stress lowers estrogen levels, which can activate emotional outbursts. So if any of these things describe you today, it's time to take action. Are you stressed out? Work at rearranging your priorities, slowing down, and start taking control of your life and turn to God. When we prepare our hearts and lift up our hands to him in prayer, his word reminds us that we will stand firm and without fear. And that's a good word for all of us today. Pastor Allen will continue this series on dealing with stress tomorrow, and Pastor Mike will wrap it up on Wednesday and we invite you to catch both of those on our Facebook page at The Village Church at World Golf Village. And just a reminder that today is your last chance to stop by and say goodbye to Dang Arja and his daughter Ava before they head back to Thailand tomorrow morning. They will be at the church today until around 4 p.m. Uh, please be praying for them as they fly home tomorrow and Wednesday and continue to pray for Dang, his wife Suminta, and their children Ava and Aiden and all of the people, and especially the children that they minister to. We are so excited to be able to partner with them in their work in Thailand for the gospel. And so we just pray a blessing over them, and we hope that you will join us in that prayer. Now have a great week, and I will see you again on Friday with more from the Word for You Today.